also at Target, I picked up this really cute Coraline plushie because I've been really wanting some Coraline stuff because I love this movie. This little rag doll with the button eyes. I'm going to put it on my shelf. But, okay. So, they have three Margos there. Like I said, I'm going to return the one that I ordered whenever it comes in the mail. But I think that she's so pretty. Like, she's so pretty. One of my favorites from this line. Um, I love her swimsuit, her cover-up, um, her bag, towel, her shades. Um, check out Planet Him's review on her. Um, it was great. I did watch Zombie X Corn's video also on her as far as removing her tinsel. Because I was thinking about doing that, but I'm going to see what I'm going to do. Like, how it is after washing it first before taking the time to do so. Um, yeah, so I'm going to unbox her and all that good stuff. And, yeah. Alright, hey booze, welcome back to another video. So, in today's video, obviously as you guys can see here, I have Miss Margot de Perla finally from the Rainbow High Pacific Coastline. I found her at my local Target and she was $31.99 before tax. There was three of her, so of course you know I had to pick the best one. So I'm going to get her all out of the box and give my first impressions of her. Um, and then we're going to move on to restyling and redressing her. So let's go on ahead and get Miss Girl open. you guys so i have miss margo here she is out of the box and as you can see we got our accessories all that good stuff of course i'm gonna cut her out of the box but just to kind of give a little rundown margo is an accessory design focus so most likely her and daphne minton would have had classes together if they both attended rainbow high because as we know these dolls do attend pacific coast high in malibu Okay, you guys, so I know as many of you have already seen, there's plenty of amazing reviews again on Miss Margot de Perla. So I'm pretty much here to really be very honest, raw, and uncut on, you know, is she worth buying, of course. These are her shades. They are, they have a really cool, like, um, ombre effect to them with a translucent finish, as you guys can see here. The shape of these are just absolute. They're so cute. I think that she has some of the best um, shades, honestly, um, right behind Miss Hallie. So far, Hallie is pretty much winning in my department with the shades. Here is her really cute bag. And shout out to Planet Him for sharing the inspiration behind her bag, which is um, it is a Chanel inspired like bum or like boy bag. And it does have like real adjustable tassels, which is a really cool detail. It's made out of really nice fabric. So far is like the best quality bag, in my opinion, um, just because of this really nice fabric. As y'all know, I did say in for Phaedra and Hallie. Um, their toe bags are so cute, but they do feel cheaply made with like that plastic. But Margot's bag definitely is is definitely number one so far. Of course, she comes with the interchangeable flat feet. I actually really, really love the flat feet, the whole switcheroo. Um, I think that this is kind of hinting at, you know, a possibility we'll get more like flat feet kind of sandals or sneakers and stuff and I think that this is really great I'm not sure why there's so many complaints on the leg switching but I think it's a great feature that um MG has, has introduced with the rainbow high dolls in this collection here is her towel it's very 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 beautiful um has like these subtle like you know pastel kind of faded colors in it and again shout out to <clears throat> And again, shout out to Planet Him for saying that this was like inspired by like kind of like a Louis Vuitton trunk 
um, kind of look to it, as you guys can see. And of course, the towels are just amazing quality altogether. Margot is on her stand, which is a nice pearlescent finish. For those of y'all who really, really value the coordinating stands, this one, it was a good move making hers like that pearlescent finish, of course, with her being a pearl doll. She is so beautiful. Now, let's get into her face. So, I... I truly love this face mold. I know a lot of people are saying it's given very much Roger, it's given Alien, it's given E.T. But what I like about this face mold is I think it's supposed to give the illusion that she has a very prominent jawline, you know, maybe like cheekbones or whatever. That's what I'm really loving about this face mold. And um, I don't know. I think it just really compliments her. And I really, really love that. Her swimsuit is obviously beautiful with the white and the, you know, the gold detailing in the center of her top and on her um, cover up skirt with the pearls lining it. It's just so perfect. And her scarf. I mean, look at that. Like, it's just everything. Like, Rainbow High, the designer fashions are just always on point. I love it. Now, I do want to share real quickly, you know, I know people are like, why do the Pacific Coast dolls have rainbow, rainbow? You guys, I'm 100% sure that the whole rainbow thing, for one, the brand is Rainbow High. So that's one. Two, the rainbow, the whole rainbow or RH on the fashions is supposed to take place of the designer logos that these are modeled after. So for example, um, for Harper Dune, you know, she's wearing a Burberry outfit she is wearing that that's exactly what she's wearing but obviously it's gonna say rainbow high or rainbow instead of burberry because you know for legal reasons like i get it that these are the pacific coast dolls but the rainbow is not to say that they attend rainbow high they're just wearing you know very luxurious fashions okay like they really said, y'all broke out here. <laughs> Can't relate. But <laughs> I am not the biggest fan of the hair on her. Love the colors. Do not get me wrong. But I just think for her, it's just not really hitting right now for me. You know, I just could see her with a different hair color. I am not going to lie. If she would have had series uh, one Amaya with the platinum hair that would have really looked real bomb on her. And let's just say, what if they made it to her underneath? Her hair was all these pastel colors. I think that would have been really cute. Um, her as like even a, a straight blonde would have been, would have ate, really would have ate. But yeah, I'm just not feeling this color on her with the hair. That's pretty much my real only critique. For her no and she doesn't have that much gel at all and that is another thing on the topic of the gel you guys the gel's purpose in their hair is just so that when you're cutting it out of the box that you don't cut some of the hair off so i understand the complaint of like too much gel but it serves the purpose of holding the hair in place because these dolls have lots of attachments, as you can see from cutting them out the plastic and any unboxings of them. So, you know, obviously you'd be pissed if you cut any of the hair off, right? So I just wanted to throw that out there as a side note. Her hair feels very thick, very thick. And I really like that. Um, I can't say that other people would, but it is quite thick to the touch and kind of coarse, actually. Obviously, you guys can see she does have um, tinsel. It doesn't look like much, though. Um, it doesn't look like much at all, but she does have, like, a good amount. And I've already seen lots of videos of people removing the tinsel out of her hair and stuff like that. So, you know, we'll see. But, um, yeah, otherwise, her face, absolutely beautiful. The glossy lips, her eyeshadow, the smoky eye, the glitter and the cut crease, everything, the, and the brow bone and the cut crease makeup, everything is really giving. She has beautiful freckles. Um, 
yeah and then here is like a close-up of her cute her cute cute little sandals um the pearl details on her cover-up are absolutely gorgeous so yeah you guys so i would rate miss margo here um definitely a nine out of ten margo gets a nine out of ten for me because i love her pearl color scheme her face is perfect i love her new face mold uh i love her outfit her bag her glasses um i'm just not a super big fan of the hair color on her Hair color is pretty on her. It's just, eh, you know, it's just okay. Now, you guys, we're going to get into restyling Miss Margot. And let's see if I swallow my words and take back what I said about her hair before deciding on an ultimate hair transformation. So let's go on ahead and get into that. All right, you guys, so as you can see, she's done with her fresh conditioning treatment or whatever. Now, the colors, okay, are so pretty. Like, look at that. Like, the colors are gorgeous. Um, For anyone that is curious, this is what her hair looks like as far as the part. I tried to comb over as much as I could of it, but as you can see, it's slightly thin right here in this top, but it's not anything too crazy, but she has like a side part, basically, as you guys can see. Now, the colors are so, so pretty, and I think after washing her hair, the vibrance of the colors definitely comes out after washing her hair, for sure. And even seeing that she has like a cute side part, is it's giving. Okay, so now that that has happened, I'm going to let her dry and we are going to take a look and see what she will be restyled. I want to compliment her um, heels real quick. These stay on her very well. If y'all know, sometimes with these heels, if they don't have a strap, they will easily slip off of the Rainbow High Dolls um, feet, such as, for example, like uh robin's furry heels like those will slide off very easily and such but these these are very sturdy and they stay on so i just want to compliment that very quickly okay you guys so i did an instagram poll on these two looks and took y'all's votes so thank you to anyone who voted this early morning slash early afternoon um yeah i was really excited to kind of do that so yeah so now we will pretty much get into seeing what her final look is going to be all right, you guys, and this is the final 
restyle of Miss Margot de Perla. So this was the outfit that won the votes, as you can see. Something super casual, very, very casual. Um, I, you know, like I said, this is not going to be her official outfit, but I really wanted to have some fun with engaging with, you know, the followers I have on Instagram and, you know, just seeing how this would be if y'all picked out, you know, her look or helped me with it, I should say. But anyways, um, so my overall rating for Miss Margot de Perlo, definitely a 9 out of 10. After washing her hair and getting the gel out, it's beautiful. I definitely would take the time to take the tinsel out just because even combing the hair, you know, the tinsel tends to yank a little bit and stuff like that. I have not flat ironed her hair, as you can most likely tell, um, but I do plan to do so. Um, and, you know, just kind of have some fun with it. I do think that if she had like platinum white hair and maybe the pastel colors underneath, that would have been gorgeous. Basically like wave one Amaya's hair, just instead of the bright rainbow colors, it's more pastel. The scarf, I will say, it does buckle in the back, um, but it's not super tight, as tight as I would like for it to be. But you know, I think I'm going to figure that out as I go. But yeah, so anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this um honest thoughts uh video once again on miss margot de perla as well as this restyle i really hope that you guys enjoyed and um i will see you guys in the next video bye booze.